Welcome to the Cap Mr. Deal Room. Today we're here with Kalichi from uh, Warehouse Node. How are you? I'm good, Daniel. How are you doing today? Good, good. Um, so what we want to know is a bit about uh, Warehouse Node. And since our investor network have first come across your deal, we want to get into the update. So now I want to, I want to jump in. Give us a bit of a recap on what Warehouse Node is. Right. Um, thank you, Daniel, for having me again. Um, just a recap. Well, Warehouse Node is uh, purely what it is. It's we're looking at it as a, what the, as the name says. It's a one-stop shop for storage. So the vision for Warehouse Node is a, a place where um, all those people who are looking for storage and those who have availability can come and, and transact. Yeah. And that transaction could look like, you know, um, in terms of, you know, the actual storage itself, the focus at the moment is around um, storage containers. And we're looking at warehouses, uh, more um, commercial, industrial type focus. And then we obviously have uh, an eye on the residential aspect as well. When it comes to modular storage, flexible storage, that kind of stuff is convenient. That's what um, um, the residential customers are looking for. So Warehouse Node is a platform that will cater for these um, two um, um, focus areas. And, and the way we are, are looking at selling it is really that there is no point just talking about storage because storage has been around for a while. It's just how we you know, optimize that process, bring streamline that process, bring more trust within the platform so that people can come there knowing that they can transact and get um, reliable um, storage from reliable suppliers. So that's the that's the that's the the journey that warehouse node is taking, and and that journey has been quite exciting because it's been you know you know less than a year we've been able to get where we are today in terms of um, market traction, um, understanding of the vision, and then getting the the right suppliers who 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 want to be part of this project, um, keen to get onboarded on on, on warehouse nodes those already onboarded, um, has been quite you know instrumental in terms of you know feedback in terms of how we are innovating in this particular project so in a large in a in a, in a summary right warehouse node is basically that the, the place where we envision everyone coming to collaborate around storage warehouses yeah yeah so in the last few months you've made significant progress you've you've signed on new suppliers you've you know, really touched on and expanded on that international expansion. So tell us about the domestic um, milestones you've achieved. Tell us about the suppliers that you've you've onboarded because this is a really important part for investors to understand that, you know, you're not uh, just a concept or project. You're, you're making huge strides and there is this, you know, market demand for what, you, what you're doing. So tell us about the, the domestic momentum first. Right. Um, the domestic momentum here in Australia, I think, um, um, we've, we started off this project and, um, the, the first few weeks after launch, I had several conversations with, um, people in the industry, in the, in the logistics, um, industries, and especially the focus was around modular storage. So I had conversations with, uh, leading container suppliers across Australia and the conversations went quite well. They were, they were born into the vision. They wanted part of it. And then together we, we we worked on getting um one of the major container suppliers in Australia on board the platform. And and that um and, and that was more of a strategic partnership where they, they want to be part of it, they want to be able to have all, all of their listings and uh, on there, and then that gave us visibility across Australia. So with that, people can come on the platform, they can order the storage containers, and then it gets delivered to them, right? So that's the, the major traction that we've got in Australia. But um, the, the focus on it's not just on container storage. So we also have in discussions with warehouse owners, warehouse suppliers, even some um, um, those who are in the in the property development who you know, new new warehouses they want to they just build, they want to fully utilize it, they want to be able to sell those as value to customers, to their customers who are looking to 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 buy these warehouses or rent these warehouses. So we we have in those kind of conversations, and and. Um, also, the conversation is not just limited to, to domestic, right? I know you've asked about domestic, but the conversation is also now extended in the last few months and to other regions like the US, um, which is why we've you know, really focused on, on 
meeting the, the needs, right, of the different uh, customers who are reaching out to us and suppliers who want to be part of the project. And that's basically been the traction locally. And I can talk about the international traction if that's what the next question is. Yeah, yeah. So tell, tell us about the, the international traction because you've made huge strides into the US. Mm -hmm. um, you've, you've registered a, a, a US subsidiary. You've got inroads into the US and now starting to, to connect and onboard suppliers in the US. Yeah, that's right. I think, uh, like I said before, that traction or the, the interest in the US region was a lot, a lot higher. And especially um, given that um, logistics, storage, warehousing is quite quite big over there. And and they got, you know, um, because the US is also a market that is, is very much um, globally focused as well. So you might have suppliers who have um, storage uh, within the US, they might have in other regions across the world as well. They're looking at how to, to utilize or, or maximize the utilization of these storages. So uh, that gave us, you know, that made us, you know, really, you know, strive and, and focus on setting up a subsidiary in the US. So we've got Warehouse Not Inc. in the US and, and Warehouse. And, and, and now we're looking at getting investors to support that expansion into the US and, 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 and that's the real focus at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So this is a very exciting point that you're not just looking at the domestic issues. You're looking at uh, the US, which is a market that's what fifteen times the size of Australia um, in terms of in terms of population and, and, and growth. You know, they're a lot more mature market in terms of startup. Um, and then from the US, it gives you a really good platform for the rest of the world. So this is a really exciting opportunity for Warehouse Node. Um, to grow and to showcase, you know, what what we can do and and how how we can scale. So uh, tell us also about you've, you've engaged, you know, you've got really good PR around what you're doing, and it's you know coming. It's meeting with a warm warm, you know, uh, a, a very good response. Mm. Well, uh, yeah, that's right. Um, uh, the, the the project has actually um, got some really good PR exposure as well because I've been approached by. Uh, several publishers to write about the project. Um, the most recent one, I mean, I was I featured on Forbes earlier, and that was more around the, the innovation in this space, right? But at the time, the, the conversation wasn't really focused on, on warehouse not at, the, at the time, and the conversation was just focused on you know uh, me and my innovation in in, in, the, in the technology industry. So, but but um, as of recent, there's been some publications mm -hmm. where you know you recognize as one of the visionary leaders. Um, to watch this year and the focus is really on warehouse node right and uh, that that yeah. um, article has also really highlighted the key visionary aspect of warehouse node and warehouse node is not just a platform it's a vision right so it's it's a vision around uh, how um, the companies can collaborate in a positive form bring value to each other through a, a platform and, and a platform that will continuously um, be you know be a source of um, it's, it's not just uh, like a brand, right, that people recognize. So when you think about storage, you think about warehousing, you want to think about warehouse node. And, and that's what we're building. We're building a hub for people to collaborate and really um, you know, elevate the, the logistics industry. Yeah. 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 So it's, this is, um, you know, an exciting opportunity because nobody really thinks about um, storage until they need it. And then from a, from a business perspective, um, you know, sometimes they are sitting on ample space and they're looking at ways to increase their cash flow. So this is a way that they can, they can open up some of their, their factory or their warehouse to, to generate additional revenue and cash flow mm -hmm. that could help the business through some of the quieter or, or you know, uh, tumultuous months. Right, so this is about collaboration. This is about um, looking at other options in, in, in this, you know, in, in the 20, you know, uh, 2024, businesses have to be smarter about how they operate. Yes. Um, it's not just about growth, but it's also about cash flow. It's about making sure that, you know, you're looking at the future, but also, you know, uh, preparing for, for you know, the, the, the times ahead. So what the warehouse note is, it slots in perfectly to help businesses. It has, um, you know, it worked perfectly to, to help uh, consumers with their storage needs because 
traditionally, where do you go? You go to, you know, the um, you know, Kennard self-storage of the world, which can be, you know, expensive. And sometimes they do have minimum month contracts where you, where you may not need that. It doesn't fit into your, 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 your demand. So what you're doing is providing a solution that helps both sides of the marketplace and it has a global demand, which is is evident with your expansion into the US. So, um, you know, we're excited about about what you're doing. Tell us about the raise. How much are you raising? Just as a recap, so we can share it with our investor network. Right. So we're in a, in a journey of raising um, two million USD, and that's really to help us with some of this um, uh, expansion um, uh, strategy we have, strategies we have, and also you know around human capital that we need to to expand to for this expansion. And then we also, um, I mean, the focus is really around those technology enhance, enhancement as well, because I'm having several conversations with, you know, really um, um, uh, like uh, technology partners that we work with and to help us really build this uh, platform um, and, and enhance the platform so that we can actually reach more people and also support our global expansion, because that's the focus. The focus is how we can, you know, um, continue this global expansion uh, with the interest we've got in the in the US, and then we and, and the, the, there there are certain areas that I, I feel like maybe we haven't touched on this. It's it's around um, it's also transformational because this would change the way the warehouse operators the way they they um, the way they actually um, run their business as well, right? So the, the focus is is at the moment um, a lot of the warehouse owners they have their you know their, their contracts with the guys that they, they provide space for, but they, they want to also have um, that global demand for their their space right, and because there there'll be people who are you know in different countries who might want a space that is within the country where they operate, and usually the the the, the process of getting that kind of you know. Um, finding the right storage that meets all of your your requirements might not be that easy, right? But once Warehouse Node has all of the trusted partners within the platform that will allow people to be able to transact wherever they, they are and find a storage that is trusted within the location they're looking for. It could be a storage that is right next to a port or for a container that is coming in that just needs to sit there for some time um, until you can you know continue to the next, next um, part of the journey. But just little things, or not little things like that, but those those kind of stuff uh, is a massive saving for for um, for companies, both the the, the company who yep. for the storage and also the guy who the storage provider in terms of having that excess space, and then also supports their expansion as mm -hmm. well as a business. So really, uh, it, I feel that um, the more of understanding of this vision that we have with um, the people within the industry. The more traction is going to take, and I think you already have mm -hmm. that's um, that's quite evident with the traction that we've got so far. And yeah, that's basically what I wanted to highlight. Yeah, yeah awesome, awesome. So, you know, we're we're excited about this this update because you are you're making significant inroads into you know international expansion. You have the demand, you have the partners signed up um, here in Australia. Things are moving quickly. Right. So from an investor's point of view, it is an exciting opportunity to get into and help, you know, with, with capital, mm -hmm. but also strategy into to new markets. So, you know, thank you very much for, for, for jumping on to this deal room, deal room review. Yes. Um, we're excited to, to see where it goes. Thank you very much, Daniel, for having me again. No problem. All right. Take care.